Okay, if you're watching this video, I assume you want to learn how to upgrade the memory in your computer. Well, to begin with, you need to learn what type of memory you have in your computer. So, first, you need to get a program to figure that out. So we're going to open up your favorite web browser, mine being Mozilla Firefox. And then you're going to head over to the website www.gtopala.com as you can see I already have up and then once that page is loaded you're going to want to click on download and this is for a program called system information for Windows and this is only going to work with Windows computers and it's going to allow you to see what kind of memory you have so you're going to want to go down to where it says download free version and click on SIW with installer and it's going to say you've chose to open blah blah click save file and save it to your desktop which I've already done so now we're going to want to head over to your desktop and you're going to see it looks like this you're going to double click that and install it using all the recommended settings and that shouldn't take very long it's not a, not a very large program now once that's done you're going to want to find SIW in your start menu so we're going to hit start all programs scroll down SIW click on SIW and of course if you're on Vista it's going to ask you for permission you're going to want to allow that okay as we can see there are like maybe thirty different things down the left side that you can look at but for this purpose we want to look go down scroll down and under hardware you're going to see memory you're going to click on memory and you can see all the information about the memory, the maximum capacity, slots, etc. The most important part is down where it says device locator and you're going to look at what kind of, this is going to tell you what kind of memory you have in the computer currently and if it works then you can replace it with that same type of memory. So where it says this is the important, the most important is the memory type my computer takes DDR2 PC2 5300 and its speed is DDR2 667 now 667 and 5300 go together so that's okay and you also want to look at where it says memory timings usually the timings and the voltage aren't important unless you're looking at a high performance or gaming computer and if you are then you probably built it yourself and you already know what kind of memory it takes alright so now that we have <coughs> the type of memory I'm going to head back over to Firefox and head your favorite memory website mine is newegg.com Alright, now you're going to want to head over to computer hardware and scroll down to memory. Now this is very important. If you're working on a desktop computer, then you obviously want to hit desktop memory. If you're working on a laptop computer, then you want to hit laptop memory. This is a laptop, so we're going to hit laptop memory. And we're going to look down at speed. Now see right here, DDR2667, PC2500. Now that's the correct memory for this laptop. And we're going to look at, now there's already 2 gigabytes of memory in this, so we're going to assume I want to upgrade to 4, gigab 4 gigabytes. And since there's only 2 slots, we need 2 2 gigabyte sticks. Alright, and now we can see all of the different types of memory 
for a ridiculously cheap price. And memory brands, I guess if you have a preference, then you can choose that one. Otherwise, memory is not likely to fail, especially not generic memory. I'd be more inclined to go with a name brand like Corsair, or Crucial, or Kingston on a, or Patriot, on a like, high performance machine, gaming machine, but for this, just about any of these will do. Thanks for watching this video.